Well, come on, I don't believe that for a second. Everybody's someone. You know, you're probably someone special too. I can usually tell these things. Next time, wake me up. Quite amusing, huh? Watching me stumble around in the dark. Am I just like my father? Maybe a little too much? Or maybe not enough? And maybe Luke is someone I don't want to be like. Well, come on out. I, I don't bite. And I won't either. I guess you weren't expecting us. Well, I've learned that you never quite know what to expect around here. Could be anyone coming through that door, but I'm glad it's you guys. Molly came back to return the books from Stefan's library. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, you promised me I could borrow some more. All right. So are you uh, checking up on me? Making sure the new lord of the manor hasn't been torn to pieces or burned the place down? Both. I am responsible for the place since I'm the last Cassidine standing. Or am I? What does that mean? You're on the trail of some mystery here, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little curious. Well, I, uh, don't really have anything to report so far. But when I do, you'll be the first to know. Sure. Mm hmm Okay, so there's no vampires here or chest of gold in the floorboards. You find anything, I get most of it. <laughs> Look, I'm a man of my word. And I honestly don't have anything very exciting to report. Although, I did manage to get the electricity back on. Okie dokie. I know you love your books, but you cannot go wandering off like that again. You're going to give me a heart attack. It's not safe. I know. I'm sorry. It just... I love the atmosphere of this place. Oh. It's like I find something new every time I come out here. It's so Wuthering Heights. Maybe we can move out here. Uh, don't even think about it. On that note, we should all head out. i got to head into town and get some more food and supplies anyway, so... Hey, you got a whole basket of food there. You can have a picnic in the tub. Oh, yeah, no, those are just hors d'oeuvres. You know, as it gets colder, I like to eat more, fatten myself up for hibernation. So, uh, we should all head out. You know, we can head down to the launch together. You and know what? Be... You go on ahead, because I've got some papers I need to find here. Oh, you need to find some? Oh, I can help you find it. I'm, I know this place really oh, well no, by now. Oh, no, listen, that's okay. I got it under control. So, oh. go ahead. Are you kidding me? We can't carry all those. Pick five. Come on, Mom, I can't. Five. Ethan, uh, I was just calling to see if there was a, uh, well, if you found what you were looking for at Windermere, and if there was anything I needed to know that you, well, let me know before I head back that way, all right? I'll talk to you later. Bye. If maybe the place has termites. I mean, it's not like I'm looking for ghosts. Let's go. Wait, not yet. 
Oh, I found something. What's that? It's a button. I found it on the shore earlier. Hmm. Just imagine all the fascinating people that could have lost it. Like, maybe it belonged to a prince. Nicholas is the only prince I know, and this doesn't look like anything he'd wear. Oh, okay. Then, uh, maybe it was a pirate or a philosopher. I think whoever it was doesn't stand a chance of living up to the heroic proportions that you've outlined for them in that expansive little brain of yours. <laughs> 